You ready to go? Let's do it. Okay. I know that I gotta hide. Wish the world was on my side. So I kind of wrote that lyric because I really felt like I had to hide from the world and I just didn't feel like anybody in the world accepted me for who I was. I didn't feel like the world accepted me. I just felt extremely misunderstood and isolated and like I was very forced into hiding who I was and very stuffled and just kind of like, I don't mean to have a victim mentality at all, but I did at that point when I wrote the song kind of feel like the world was against me in certain type of ways, you know, and not even necessarily the world as a whole, but just people. And just truly, I just didn't feel accepted for who I was and like anybody in the world cared about me at all, which is really sad, but it is how I felt when I wrote the song. Um, trying to deal with everything, many moments going through my mind. Okay, so at this point, I was just dealing with a lot of stuff, like so much stuff at one time. And you know when it's like, you just go through that stage of life where it's like so much is happening. It's like there's transition in your life. You're starting a new school. You have to do all this schoolwork. Is that pom poms? Yes. Cheerleader. Cause smiling is out. Finally, I'm so excited it's out. Um, but yeah and just there's like all this stuff going on and I felt like there was so much stuff going on at one moment and it was just too much to keep up with it was just a lot to deal with at one time that I couldn't even like handle it or process it all because it was just too much um so you become a cheerleader yes I did become a cheerleader because I'll get more into the theme later and why it's a theme and I'm also going to go into the music video a little bit later and the story of the music video and everything and it's going to be really really fun so definitely stay tuned and all this will be on YouTube later too if you have to go or anything. Um, um, can't even tell myself, how can I tell somebody else? That I'm a misery and pain so insane and it's driving me crazy. Okay so this was that, like, you know when you're going through a hard time, everybody's like, talk to somebody, like, let people know how you feel, but, and, and I felt like a little bit of a hypocrite, because I tell people to do that, and I, I do believe in that, 100%, but I, at the time, it was... I really had a hard time talking to anybody about what I was going through, but the reason why I had such a hard time talking about it was because I couldn't even admit it to myself. Does that make sense? Like, I couldn't even say it out loud, everything that was happening, if that makes sense. So it was just, it was like, I can't tell myself, how can I tell somebody else, you know? Because it was just, the pain was so deep and so sad. Um, I'm going to sleep. Caroline, take care. Oh, have a great sleep. Hope you have a really, really good, powerful sleep. Um, and it's driving me crazy. Um, right and wrong, I have to figure out when I'm feeling up, life always brings me down. So, you know, and I wanted to make sure this song was not a negative song. I wanted to make sure that there was always positivity and hope in this song. Because at the end of the day, we all go through hard times. We all go through struggles, 100%. I go through struggles. You go through struggles. We all go through struggles. But I always try to be a very positive person at the end of the day. And I always try to have a positive outlook on life in general. And But I just had to figure out because... I would try really hard to be positive and try super, super hard to have a positive outlook, but it would be so hard because I'd try to be positive and I'd just kind of get there and then something would happen to bring me back down and I'd be like, I'm really trying to be positive here. I'm trying really, really hard. So it was kind of that struggle because you know, you try so hard, but it's like, why does this happening? But I definitely wanted that lyric to be like, I try to figure out because it's about trying to fix the problem and not just necessarily running away from the problem but trying to fix it um 
right? I just finished working on hard, on hard school work. Oh, oh, that's the worst. I feel you. Uh, let's go to the course. Rather be lost than ever be found. Try all they want, they'll never figure me out. So that's kind of like that mystery of like, yeah, I, I'd rather be lost than ever be found. You're not going to figure me out, you know, because it's hard to feel like people are going to figure me out because I just, I didn't feel like people would get it, you know, it's just like, you're not even going to get it, so why even bother? Like, why even try, you know? I haven't listened to the full song yet, but the preview was really good. Thank you for listening to the preview. I'm happy you like it. If you listen to the whole song, I hope you love it. I love it so much, so I hope you love it too. Um, ever be found, try all they want, they'll never figure me out. People never care about who you are. Why would I show them all of my scars? Um, so basically, I actually think when you're going through a difficult time, I, I do think that you have to be careful about who you tell what you're going through to. Because you, usually if you're going through a difficult time or just going through a hard season or any type of thing, it's like you're in somewhat of a fragile state. And if you tell the wrong person, they can make you feel so much worse. And they, you know, or if they just have the wrong reaction and that can send you down another spiral and it's so hard because you don't want to give other people the power to control your emotions so sometimes it's just easier to keep it to yourself and be like yeah i'm not going to tell you i always think it's great if you could find like one or two people to tell things to i think that's so beautiful and so so awesome but it's like you don't got to tell anybody and it's kind of in the song and a little bit in that way, it's kind of like being proud of my introvertness a little bit of like, ah, most of you don't even care. So I'm not going to like pour my heart out completely and show you all my scars. You know, like I need something for me. I need some things private, if that makes sense. So yeah. Keep you in the dark, had you from my heart. Cause I'm smiling, yeah I'm smiling on the outside Know it from the start, tearing me apart But I'm dying, yeah I'm dying on the inside Um, so you are a sage now? I don't know what that means <laughs> Um, yeah, I tell you my BFFs, my troubles Just you guys, that's great I think it's great to have a close circle where you could tell people your troubles But, you know, you don't have to tell everybody You're allowed to have you know, your people aren't just, I just personally don't think people are just entitled to know like everything about you. I think you're allowed to keep things to yourself and keep things private. And that's like, you're right as a human being. And I felt in certain relationships and certain situationships and with certain bullies and people very pressured to like spill my guts out. But I've really gotten to the point where it's like, you know what, like you're not entitled to that information and I really don't have to tell you all my deepest, darkest secrets. I don't, so bye Felicia. <laughs> yeah, okay, so anyways, keep you in the dark, had you from my heart. So that's kind of like, in that way, that's kind of the coping mechanism of denial because I actually think denial is such a true coping mechanism when something happens and you're just like, I'm blocking it out, I'm blocking it out, because I don't know if you but like are like this, but I'm like this, where if something really bad happens, I'm weirdly very good at blocking it out, and I will just completely block it out and be like, keep you in the dark, hide you from my heart, because, and it's hard, because maybe that's not the healthiest thing to do, but I kind of have to, because I take things on very deeply, and I... I, you know, I write songs, you know me. I feel things extremely, extremely deeply. And so if I take everything on, it's just way too much for me. And it's like way too emotional. Like even with other people, like when people tell me their struggles, like I can get so emotionally attached and so into it. And like, I almost have to find a way to forget about it because the burden becomes way too heavy, if that makes sense.
I feel deep things too. Yeah, it's hard when you feel things really deep. It really is. But you're so cute, princess. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet, AJ. Um, it means that you are a very wise person with decades of experience. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet of you. But yeah, I'm solving. Yeah, I'm solving on the outside. I'm bending over from the start, tearing me apart. But I'm dying. Yeah, I'm dying on the inside. So that's kind of like, I know I'm dying on the inside, but I want to be strong and I don't want to share it with anybody and I don't want to let my guard down <laughs> too much. And also it's so hard because like I said last night, I think people really feel off energy and it's really hard because if you're around people and you have a really negative outlook, you feel like you're bringing them down. And you know, I always want to be a positive person and uplift people. So you feel that pressure to just like smile and be like, you know, but sometimes you are going through a lot and it's hard. Yeah. Um, verse two. Um, shoot. Dying, yeah, I'm dying on the inside, inside, inside. Trying to change the way I feel. Cheap talks won't work on me. So it's like you really, really try to change the way you feel. Like I said, it's like that fight to be positive and that fight to be happy and to feel better. But it's like cheap talks won't work on me. And it's so hard because sometimes you don't know. There's just nothing that anybody could say that could make you feel better at a given moment. Like you really can't. And even I feel that way with you sometimes when I talk to you and you're like, oh, I'm so depressed. And I always say like, it'll get better. Things will get better. But sometimes I even feel bad saying that because I know having like been in sad places myself that like sometimes when people just say things will get better, you're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, when, okay, sure. Like, you know, you get in that state where you're like, uh-huh, thank you, you know what I mean? But it is true, but it's kind of when you're in that state, it's just like, cheap talks don't work on me. Like, there's nothing, anything anybody could say that would make me feel better. Although, I really do encourage you if you're going through these dark moments to not lash out at ones you love, because it can be so easy to just lash out at people who you love and who are great people um, just because you're in such a dark place or just such a sad mood or in a bad mood. But I try your best not to because they love you and they care and they're trying their best. Um, on the impression game, I got two people right, which were Nicki Minaj and Sia. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, this song is me on a daily basis on every little problem. I feel you. Same. Maybe that's why we're so close. We get each other. And cheeks out don't work on me. Wanna know if this is real. So it's like, it's kind of like that wanna know if this is real because I don't know if you're like this, but I get to a place where sometimes I really question myself. And I like question if I'm if my perspective's right a little bit, and I'm like, am I manifesting these problems? Or are these problems real? Because I never wanna be somebody who makes problems or makes something a big deal, or I'm like, am I overreacting? Is this real? Like, I can very question myself. I'm, I, I overthink a lot, so that's what that's referring to. And then, I'll show the face I want you to see. And then that's basically saying, you know, to the world, to friends, to loved ones. I'm just gonna show the face that they wanna see because I don't wanna be a burden. I don't wanna burden them with my problems. I don't wanna bring them down. So I'm just gonna act like everything's okay. And then maybe if I act like everything's okay, then maybe everything will become okay. Um, In days since I last slept, so many thoughts left to forget. Um, so this was about having trouble sleeping because I really was having trouble sleeping. <laughs> Even last night I was kind of having trouble sleeping. Not that bad trouble, but I weirdly woke up at 3 a.m. and was like, it was weird. Anyways, and then I woke up at 5 a.m. I think I was just really excited about the release. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that, 
So many thoughts left to forget. Because for me, I don't know, sometimes things in the past will like haunt me to this day, if that makes sense. And I'll be like, I don't know, I'll just, I'll be really hung up on the past and I can't stop thinking about it. And I, and then that, like, I, and it's like at night when you go to sleep, you just start thinking about the past and you think about things that you could have done differently. You think of, did I do something wrong? Did I, you know, like, and like, I'll think of crazy things. I'm like, I said a rude thing to my friend when I was in fourth grade and that was so wrong of me and I shouldn't have said that. And I'll think about that like tomorrow, like yesterday. And it's like, why am I still mad at myself over like a dumb comment I made in fourth grade? You know what I mean? It's like, I'm very much like that. Um, call me a child, but I usually like to talk to, talking to an imaginary friend. I actually think that's a great coping mechanism because that way you get it out. You have to let it go. See, that's what I've learned. And I've learned that a lot this year. And I've gotten, like, from the time I wrote this song, I've gotten so much better where I feel like at this point, I've, like, completely let go of the past. And I really just focus on the present and the future because I think that's the way to live. Um, I slept again at 6 a.m. yesterday. Oh, my gosh. And then woke up again at 7 for school. That is great. I see. I knew you would get the thin day since I last slept slept um um lying because you don't sleep you're not a burden oh thank you that's so sweet noodle dot num that is so sweet you're the best you're actually so sweet sometimes it's hard to let go yeah it's hard to let go and i think truly i think letting go of the past and even forgiveness and all that stuff i think it's a journey and i think it's a process and i think it takes time but i do think you can get there with time and forgiveness and being kind to yourself, 100%. So, so many thoughts left to forget, but my dreams set me free every day, must believe in a new reality. Um, so that's one of my favorite lines, because that's really when you see some optimism starting to come in, which is the best. Um, so basically it's saying, like, you know what, I'm not going to focus on the past anymore and I'm not going to be so caught up in everything that's happening right now. I'm going to focus on the future and what I can make my life. And life is really hard right now, but the only thing that keeps me going is that there will be a new reality in the future and that I will get through this. And I have to believe that because the only way that I'm going to get through this time right now is by having hope for the future. That's the only way I'm going to get through this, which helps me every single day. And that goes to like my faith in God and to just believing that everything will work out and there will be a new reality and every day will get better, you know? Um, oh, thank you, AJ. You're so sweet. Thank you, Sala underscore dear. That's super sweet. Um, things will get better. Yes, things always get better. And I really, really do believe that. Hey, noodle.nem H, and it's also a lot about your outlook, too. I really do. God gives us hope. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, sometimes it's hard to have faith. Well, that's where I get to in this pre-course. Um, I know I'm not alone, but I'm losing doubt. Try to keep the faith, but I don't know how. Um, so basically, that's about... Like, I know God's there. I know I believe in God and I love God so much, but I'm, I'm losing faith. You know what I mean? But like, I know I'm not alone, but I just don't know how to keep the faith, but I need to. But I truly believe in the phrase that faith the size of a mustard seed can take you anywhere. Like they say that all the faith you need is the faith of a mustard seed and that's all you need. So for me, it was being just like, I do have that mustard seed of faith. I do, I do, I do. I don't know how to keep the faith, but I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep trying because I do have that mustard seed of faith. Even though sometimes there's those doubts, you have that mustard seed of faith and I do believe, you know? Um, 
Aw, thank you so much. You're so sweet, AJ. Thank you so much for all the support. You're being the sweetest people ever, so I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. You're the best, like, people in the whole entire world, and I really appreciate it. And I hope you love this song as much as I do. Um, Bridge. It's a sad of me you won't see. No, you'll never meet the real me. There's a sad of me you won't see. No, you'll never meet the real me. So that's kind of a cool, mysterious line, and it's basically saying, like, yeah, you're never going to meet... You're, I just, here's the thing, I think people are so multi-dimensional, and I really believe that. I don't think any of us are one-dimensional human beings. I think so many of us have so many sides to us. We have so many talents. We have so many emotions, so many different parts of ourselves to tap into. And so much of the time, society and the world wants to put us into a box and tell us who we are, and I have felt that just a lot with society and the world and people around me. I feel a lot of people always trying to put me in a box and tell me what I am, and for me, I never want to be put into any box at all. I feel like I can be so many categories. I could be super sweet. I could be super sassy. I could be the happiest person in the world. I could be really sad and really down. Um, you know, like you could be like there's just so many sides to all of us as human beings and so it's basically saying like you know what you're never i'm multi-dimensional and you're never gonna know the real me and there's different sides of me that you won't see and i'm not gonna let you put me in a box and that's really what that means to me it's like you're never gonna meet the real me you're never gonna understand you're never gonna fully get it so whatever Rather be lost, never be found. <laughs> so that is smiling.